hello you are welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem and uh, from here let's represent x plus 2 as a so a equals to x plus 2 and uh, also x plus 1 as b so we have b equals to x plus 1 then we have in this place now a raised to power 4 then plus b raised to power 4 so we can say this is a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 it then be equal to 17 from here then also let's subtract these two we have here a minus b where we subtract on this side we have x minus x that will be cancelled that will become zero then two minus one that will become one so a minus b is equal to one from here so let's note this from here then also from uh, a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power, power 4 equals to 17 we can write a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 as a square minus b square then all square now we should understand that we need to add 2a square b square here because when we expand this here now what we have will be a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 then minus 2a square b square that is why we added this in order to have a raised to power 4 plus b raised to power 4 only which is equal to 17 now then from here what we have inside this bracket here is a power square so let's rewrite it again and this will be a plus b multiplied by a minus b and this is square so we have a plus b square then times a minus b squared then plus 2 a square b square equals to 17 and uh, also from here we have a minus b that is equals to 1 from here so that means 1 square is still 1 so here we have 1 then 1 times a plus b square is still a plus b squared then plus 2 a square b square equals to 17 then in the next step we expand this and what we have now we give us a square plus 2 a b plus b square that's the expansion here then plus 2 a square b square equals to 17 and uh, from here let's bring the squares together so we, i can write this as a square plus b square then plus 2 a b then plus 2 a square b square equals to 17 and then from here we can write this a square plus b square and uh, from a minus b all squared this we contain a square plus b square then minus 2ab then i need to add you know 2ab in order for me to have just a square plus b square so everything here like this will give me a square plus b square then i have plus 2ab then plus 2 a square b square equals to 17. now from here i have a minus b that equals to 1 a minus b square that's 1 square so 1 square is still 1 so this is 1 plus here i have 2ab plus 2ab that gives us 4ab then here we have plus 2 into bracket ab then square we have raised to power 2 raised to power 2 from law of indices we can take it out and that is equal to 17 now let's form a quadratic equation in term of ab so when we write this first we have 2ab squared then plus 4ab then take 17 here become minus so 1 minus 17 that's minus 16 equals to 0 then we can divide through by 2 here so divide this equation through by 2 what will be left here is a b square then plus 2 a b minus 8 here equals to 0 we have divided through by 2 and uh, we can factorize this 
and this will give us a b squared plus 4ab minus 2ab minus 8 equals to 0. We have factorized this now. And then when we group this together, 2, 2, from here what is common we have ab out and then we have ab left here. Then plus 4, then minus, what is there is minus 2, then we have ab plus 4, which is equals to 0. Now, the what we have here, we have ab plus 4 common. So, take it out, ab plus 4, then multiply by ab minus 2, ab minus 2 equals 0. So, the two possible cases here, we have ab plus 4 equals to 0, or we have ab minus 2 equals to 0. And from here, we have ab equals to minus 4, and then we have ab equals to 2 from here. Then, from a minus b equals to 1, we can make b the subject, and uh, b here will now be equals to, or we make a, we can make a the subject, and a will now be equals to b plus 1. So, now we can replace a here as b plus 1, so we now have b plus 1 multiplied by b equals to minus 4. Then, also here we have b plus 1 multiplied by b is equals to 2. Now, from here, when we expand this, this will become b squared plus b. Then take minus 4 here, we come plus 4 equals to 0. We form a quadratic equation. Then also from here, we have b squared plus b. Then take 2 here, we come minus 2 equals to 0. Then from here, let's check if we are going to have a real solution from here. So from the discriminant, b squared minus 4 ac. So if we are going to have a real solution here, we must have this to be greater than 0. Now, from here, we have b here is 1, so we have 1 square minus 4, a is 1, then c is 4, then from here, we have 1 square, that's 1, then minus 16, this is minus 15, this is less than 0, so no resolution from here, we have no resolution here, then on this side, we can factorize this and this will give us b square plus 2b minus b minus 2 equals to 0. So then when we group this one to 2, this will give us b common here, we have b then plus 2, then minus 1 common here, we have b plus 2 equals to 0. So b plus 2 common, we have b plus 2, then times b minus 1 equals to 0. So we have either b plus 2 equals to 0 or we have b minus 1 equals to 0. So from here we have we have b equals to minus 2 and here we have b equals to 1. And don't forget from here we have we represented b as x plus 1. So now we can say from here, x will now be equals to b minus 1. So, we have x equals to b minus 1 from this, you know, step. We have x equals to b minus 1. So, when we take it here, we can now say x is equals to b minus 1. So, from this side, we have x equals to minus 2, then minus 1. So, x here will be equals to minus 3. Then, on this side as well, we have x equals to b minus 1. So, x here will now be equals to 1 minus 1. So, x here will be equals to 0. So, these are the two values of x. That is the real solution to this problem. We can check. And uh, when we put these values of x here in the problem given, we discover that it satisfies. Thank you. Please share this video and give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.